Leeds United this right. season. Uh, new manager, of course, but a new regime as well, I think, said. So, I mean, how do you think they'll, they'll get on this year? I don't really know just now, because mm. I've not seen the players playing. I, I don't know, I'll be honest with you, I don't know any new players that will come in. Mm -hmm. I only know the boy from Newcastle, Anita. Anita, yeah. yeah. That's the only player I really know, because then the rest of them have, you know, been in the our eye, or public eye, yeah. or played here. Um, y you know, y what I will say is, is that, you know, Gary Monk's gone, he's done a good job. Yeah. Probably at the end of the season, we let it slip, which we did, you know. Um, I think everybody's got to get behind the new manager, the new regime, the new players that are coming in. I think, and it's, I think it's going to be important we start reasonably well, mm. you know, I think that's going to be important um, because regardless of, you know, the game and now uh, for coaches, managers, even players, you know, it's difficult because the fans are more impatient now. They want immediate success, yeah. you know, they do. I think the good thing for the football club is now the, the owners bought the stadium back. Mm -hmm. So right away, everybody's on side with that. Yeah. You know, they're delighted at that. They're buying players, you know, the proof of the pudding will be when the players step out in the park. You know, I'm not just saying f for the Bolton game, you know, but in the first half a dozen games of the season, you know, the fans will be sitting in judgment and thinking, right, we'll look at the, the quality of the players we brought in. And I don't know yet, because I've not seen them play. But, you know, I know for a fact that there's great optimism within and around the football club. You look at the number of season tickets have sold this season, more than since they've been in the Premier League, you know. So that's great for the start. So you know the first home game, it's going to be 30,000. Yeah, so that'll be terrific, you know. What you want is that start, you know, you go and get some sort of result at Bolton. If you don't, it's not the end of the world. But in the first half dozen games, you've got to show something that will make the fans think, right, we're going to be in a similar position to where we were last season, come, you know, February, March, yeah. which we were. I mean, it's, you know, last February, March, we weren't looking at top six. We were actually at times thinking about catching the top two. You know, we were going that well. And it just crumbled towards the end of the season. And the funny thing about that is, though, I mean, as I mentioned earlier, it's when you play at a club like this, it's when the expectation level rises. That's when you've really got to be able to cope. Now, there wasn't a, a Leeds United supporter or a person in the city eight weeks before the end of the season where I've faced you Leeds United would finish outside the top six. I didn't think they would, but when I look back at the performances towards the end of the season, mm -hmm. they, weren't as, they weren't nearly as high as they were previously. You know, for whatever reason, you know, you can say, oh, loss of form, blah, blah, blah. You've got to be able to play when that expectation revelizes, you know, that when that rises, that's when you've got to play. I mean, if we played here years ago when the team were at the top or when David Deleary's team were going well or Howard Wilkinson's team, yeah. they're drawing one each at half time here getting, uh, you're getting you know, the yeah. fans were having a go. So that's the expectation level, that's what the players have got to learn to cope with. Yeah. I mean, it's a, you know, if you want to play with a big football club, you've got to realise that Hey, you have you expected to, to get there? If your team were playing Man United tomorrow, your fans would be going to the game expecting to win the game. Yeah. That's just how it is, you know. It's mentality. Yeah, it's, it's, it's mentality. We, you know, we spoke about the Celtic. Mm -hmm. Celtic were playing Real Madrid, the Celtic part. Celtic supposed to think they're going to win the game. <laughs> and it's the same, you know, I mentioned Man United and, you know, all the big clubs, the Liverpools, you know, the Arsenals. I mean, I mean, you look at Arsenal, I mean, Arsene Wenger, the stick he's got in the last couple of years. They're still one of the top clubs in the country, but yeah. it's because the expectation level of that club is for them to be the best football club in England, you know, the best team in England. And if it doesn't happen, that's the consequences. So well, that's the one thing that the players, the new players coming into the football club, have got to grasp quickly. Yeah. They're not coming to a club that's, you know, sort of a, oh, we're happy to be halfway, or we, we, well, we're rising up, we're becoming a great club. They're coming to a club with the expectation levels up there. Our supporters will be expecting us to be up with, you know, name any team in the league. 
the Middlesbrough, the Sunderlands that have yeah. come down, the Villas, you know, any size. You spend big money these you know, and, and, and the thing about it is, you know, and they look at their neighbours down the road, their closest yeah. neighbours, Huddersfield, in the Premier League. So they'll think, well, why are we know there? And that's, that's what the players have got to grasp. They've got to grasp and get it in there. It's got to be in the mindset. You know, if we get a result here, mm. it's expected. It's no, oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. It's expected. And that's, that's the mindset that's got to run through the whole club. But the supporters, I know, get right behind the players. And the new players have come to the club. What it should do... You know, if they've got that mentality and that that talent, I should give them a huge lift mm -hmm. and make them stronger. Excellent, Eddie Gray. Thank, thank you very, very much. much. Thank Pleasure. you. Cheers.